David Perkins is here, uh, a name familiar to, to some Redbird fans, senior golfer from East Peoria High School. Um, run down the list of accomplishments here. I hope I don't – Ben Hogan watch list, 17th in the nation in scoring this year. He was NBC golfer of the week four times and put together two top fives in January and February. So, obviously, you were, you were playing well uh, when, when all this happened. So, I guess start at the beginning. How did you find out? What were your, your feelings, your thoughts? Did you have any – inclination it was coming and uh talk about that stuff um well it seemed to all happen on our spring break trip um we were out playing around and uh we kind of had that feeling that it could happen uh things could start getting canceled um and it was funny because we were talking about this stuff um as a team on like the 10th hole in the middle of our round and we just saw the sec canceled all sports and then coach got a text like 10 minutes later saying, hey, your, uh, your tournament's going to be canceled this week. Um, so that's kind of when it all started. Uh, we had kind of that notion that, yeah, it could happen, but we didn't really want to believe it, I guess you'd say. Right. Um, but then once it happened, yeah, it just kind of was a overall um, kind of de depressed feel as a team and, and, and uh, for myself. Um, and it was just kind of hard to take in. I don't even know if I've still um, fully taken in what's going on right now. Yeah, and for, for something like golf where it's very mentally taxing and it's, you have to focus a lot, I'm sure as you're out there walking around playing, it's not easy when you hear other stuff going on or you start to think about are we going to play, are we not going to play, and what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I remember uh, the rest of that round, think, thankfully it wasn't a competitive round, but I remember I was just – I lost all focus. Yeah, I'm sure. I, my thoughts were everywhere. and. Um, I'm sure I wasn't even playing well. I can't. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what are you doing now? What, you know, you, you told me you're hanging at your apartment a little bit, your home now. What is your, uh, what's your game plan? Um, class wise, workout wise, are you, you know, with shelter in place, you can't really work on your game. So what does life look like for David Perkins right now? Uh, currently it's, um, basically just waking up, doing homework, uh, trying to knock some of that out, um, mix it in. Um, one or two small workouts in the day um, mm -hmm. to try and stay in shape um, with not being able to do much. Uh, obviously, I'm not touching the clubs very much. Yeah. Um, I do a little putting, uh, like, occasionally throughout the day just to do something. Sometimes I go out on the lawn and, and chip a little yeah. bit. But um, golf-wise, it's pretty uh, – it's, it's just not there. Uh, so a little more focus on, on the schoolwork and um, trying to stay in shape. But – Plan wise, yeah, I'm just gonna try and finish the semester strong academically and just wait for yeah. the on the end. Is this the longest you've gone without playing golf probably in a long time, I would assume? Yeah. So right before they really started mandating the lockdown and, and not letting people play, um, I played two rounds since spring break when we got back. So and for me that is just very abnormal. I was gonna say, yeah, for a guy like you, that's that's probably not easy. Yeah, it's it's it drives me nuts, but at the same time, I can't do anything about it. So I'm just yeah. kind of trying to stay patient. Yeah. So the NCA has decided that all spring sport athletes are going to be able to take an extra year of eligibility, which would impact you. But your situation is unique because you have a decision to make in terms of what you want to do with the rest of your life. So for those of us who are not in that situation, who don't understand it, walk us through kind of if you have put any thought into it what what is factoring into your decision right now and what are you looking at in your future now um so obviously things have changed um so my initial plan was to know you know uh, finish the year um graduate um and i was kind of picking a time in the summer to turn professional um and go that route uh, after mm -hmm. school trying to build a schedule um, another part of it is trying to find investors um, in golf you can't do it without investors so um with what's going on how the economy is doing that's been a little tough it's been tougher um so the the decision to turn pro has been i don't know about halted but it, it's it's definitely changed so now that um decision of maybe coming back to school um that's in the thought process um but overall it's just it's just everything's getting delayed um being very uh precautionary about the decisions I'm making and, and what's best um, to do during this time. Um, but there's also timetables. So it's made it very difficult um, in that aspect. So, um, but going back to the investor part, 
um, it makes sense that it's more difficult to do that right now. But that's the biggest thing that's been um, holding me back from maybe turning pro is just because, um, you know, there's expenses and I can't afford all that by myself. Right. Um, so that's a big thing. And then, you know, is it a good time to turn pro right now with what's going yeah. on? Um, so that's why school has become maybe more of a, um, a safer route to maybe come yeah. back and, and, and get another try at that last year. So um, mm -hmm. overall, things are kind of a little bit un un unorganized, but um, just trying to tackle it one piece by, you know. Yeah. So what's left for you school-wise? So what's your major? How many credits? All that stuff. Are you on track to graduate? Are you, um, I guess the question would be, if you if you do come back, what's your your plan? Have you thought anything about that? Do you know? Would it be a second bachelor's when you tried to start a master's? Do you, you know, because all of this is factoring in, and these are probably questions that you, you know, you thought you were going to be done in May and playing professional golf in the summer. And mm -hmm. so what have you, have you put thought into that? Do you know anything, what that would look like next year? Yeah, so I think academically, um, like right now I'm planning to, to graduate this semester. So, mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then if I do come back, I would probably enroll in like another bachelor's I think I could go into a master's program but I think with if I came back with sports that might be um, the time part the time right. uh, dedication to that might be a little difficult and with traveling yeah difficult. so I think I would just choose another uh, bachelor's and go that route and then obviously um, be back and playing golf at the university so that's kind of the, right. the plan uh, if I did come back okay and then athletically, not much left um, for you to accomplish as a collegiate golfer. Um, what would your what would your goals be? What does next year look like for you if if you decide to take that extra year of eligibility? You know, are you you you've obviously been a very very successful college golfer. What is what is how do you define your success next year? If you if your plan changes and you're back next year, what is your what's your goal? What are you wanting to accomplish? Um, obviously one of the goals is, um, you know, I want to accomplish the, the MVC title and take, a help, help the team get to the postseason, whether that's nationals or regionals. That's always a goal of ours every single year. Um, outside of that, um, individually, I would just say kind of keep going on what I was trying to, to do yeah. this year. Um, just stay really consistent, um, work up the rankings. That's a big thing, both college rankings and, um, um, world rankings. Mm -hmm. um, that's important for after school things as well. Yeah. So this year would kind of, you know, help me try and finish what I couldn't finish and also, you know, continue to build my resume for when I do get to turn pro, whether that's this summer or next summer. Um, so it's, it's definitely an important option and it's an important year if I do come back in that regard.